Fu Manchu Cypher B is probably one of the best free trading view indicators that you can get. And I'm gonna show you in this video how you can use it uh, to make the most amount of profit. And that is by using divergences, right? And if you don't know what a divergence is on Vu Manchu Cypher B, it's when you have a big wave, right? You have a big wave and then a smaller trigger wave. Uh, and it'll, it'll show this red line, right? On a bearish or this blue on a divergence. Now I customize these settings a little bit um, to match my algorithm. Uh, but when you first load it in, it'll be red and then green for the bullish divergences. And these are great confirmations to enter a trade. Uh, that being said, I do not recommend using Vu Manchu Cypher B on its own. Uh, I think that if you were to consistently do this um, without using another indicator, you would eventually get wrecked, okay? And right here is a perfect example, right? I'm on the Matic one hour time frame, And you know, we had a little uneven butt cheek pattern right here. Um, also known as a divergence, right? We had this little bullish divergence, um, but you know, price didn't go up, price kept dropping. Uh, so to mitigate these losses, we're gonna use another indicator called the Easy Algo. Now, if you'd like Easy Algo for yourself, hit the first link in the description. It is by far the best buy sell algorithm on TradingView and along with the buy sell signals, it also comes with automatic support and resistance levels and uh, a trend ribbon. We're not gonna use those uh, in this video. We're solely gonna be using the buy and sell signals and like i said that is confirmation so how do you use these two together to enter and exit trades profitably well as you can see up here the first thing we're looking for is a divergence right so we see a divergence right here we have a taller wave and then a smaller wave and like i said a bullish divergence would look something like this okay that would be a bullish divergence and a bearish divergence is the opposite and what a divergence is uh it's pretty much showcasing a trend shift or a momentum shift right these are momentum waves so it's showing you that hey price is coming up while momentum is going down you know that tells us that price is probably going to drop soon okay so that's all it is it's just a momentum shift uh, and it allows you to predict where the price is going to go now as you can see we have a bearish divergence right here uh, and then we get the sell signal on easy algo and that's why you need easy algo because once you see a divergence on top of a sell signal you know that shit's getting real and um we're probably going to go down okay so that would have been a beautiful trade and this is the one hour time frame works on all time frames and that came down you know peaked at around 20 percent right came to this buy signal, which was around 15%. So that's like a 15% move. And if you're using leverage, obviously that could be a lot higher. And that's in the span of what, less than 24 hours, I believe, right? Oh, two days, but but still, right? Two days, uh, a 15% move without leverage is pretty incredible. Um, now here we see a bullish divergence, right? We see a bullish divergence, but we didn't get that buy signal until all the way over here. Now, could you have taken that trade? Sure, you know, I probably wouldn't have taken that trade because money flow is deep into the red. Money flow is deep into the red. Money flow is moving out of this asset. Money flow is like watering a plant, right? If you water a plant, the plant is going to grow. Um, same thing applies to trading. When money flow is going into the market, the price is gonna go up. If money flow is coming out of the market, right? If you're not watering that plant, then it's gonna dry out, right? And price is gonna go down. Um, so I think that's a great analogy. I think I heard Crypto Face uh, talk about that. But here we see another bearish divergence, right? We see a bearish divergence. Now it didn't draw the line on Vu Manchu, but that's okay. It doesn't always do that um, because this is still a, a pretty clear bearish divergence. And you know, momentum's going down. We get this sell signal right after that divergence, right? One, two candles after, and you know that comes down another, you know, over 20%. Let's keep looking, right? We have a bullish divergence, right? We have a bullish divergence. Um, and price goes up around 5%. Now, if you're moving your stop loss uh, to break even, that could have been you know, a slightly profitable trade, maybe a break even. I don't know where your stop losses and take profits are, um, but you know that's still in profit nonetheless, right? We have another bearish divergence. We have another bearish divergence um, right here, a little bearish divergence. It's moving down. Momentum is moving down and we get this sell signal. What happens to price? dumps another 10%. Now, Easy Algo works incredible on its own, right? Without Vu Manchu Cypher B. Uh, for example, we didn't even get a bullish divergence here, um, but we still had a buy signal and price came up, right? Price came up. However, we actually did get this bullish divergence on this candle, right? On this candle and price 
price came up. So when you use Vu Manchu Cypher B in confluence with an indicator like Easy Algo, um, that is how you make you know the most amount of profit. And and the higher the probability, uh, the chances of your trade going your way will be. See, we got a sell signal. We didn't get a bearish divergence, right? No bearish divergence. You know, buy signal, no bullish divergence. And here we go, right? We have a bearish divergence on Vu Manchu Cipher B, and then we also have this sell signal a couple candles later. And look what happens: price drops another 15%. Okay, so these are pretty incredible um, swings, you know, especially when you're trading with leverage. Um, you know, these gains can be pretty incredible, right? We have a bullish divergence right here. Uh, a little uneven butt cheek, right? We have a buy signal. Price comes up, it comes down a little bit, right? Um, doesn't come down beneath the previous candle. So that's where I would put my stop loss above or below the previous swing high. Uh, so I actually wouldn't take that sell signal. And obviously we didn't get a, a bearish divergence there at all. Um, but here we got another bullish divergence with a buy signal and price came up. Again, same thing, right? We had this buy signal on Easy Algo, price came up. We finally got this bearish divergence, right? We got this bearish, uneven butt cheek pattern, uh, bearish divergence, and what happened to price? We got the sell signal and price came down. Um, so that is how you kind of mitigate those losing trades using an indicator like Easy Algo. And Easy Algo also has automatic stop loss and take profit levels. So if you don't know where to put your stop loss or take profit, you know, if, if I was trading an asset that's volatile like this one, you know, a smaller altcoin, I would use uh, around a 4% and it doesn't show it on these past candles. But let me go to the most recent candle. Um, there we go. As you see, we have the entry, the stop loss, and then the take profit levels. Uh, automatically built in for you, right? We have another bullish divergence. I would almost consider this, I would definitely consider this uh, a bullish divergence, right? Because we can clearly see momentum is moving up and then we get that buy signal on easy algo and price just rockets up, right? I mean, 20%, so these gains are absolutely incredible. We wouldn't take that sell signal because we didn't get a divergence on Vu Manchu Cypher B. And where do we get one? It says we got a, a bearish divergence right here. I actually would not consider this a bearish divergence. So you kind of have to keep in mind um, the automated lines that Vu Minchu Cypher B draws uh, because, you know, this is not a bearish divergence for me. When I want to see a bearish divergence, it'll look something like this, right? I want to see a clear, bigger wave and then a trigger wave. I don't want to see waves that are the same height right next to each other like this. I don't consider that a bearish divergence. So just keep that in mind. And you know, choppy markets right here, but we also don't get any um, bearish divergences. I mean, you could maybe consider this a bearish divergence, right? Something like that. But we also didn't get the sell signal till we were pretty much past the zero line and almost going into the next uh, buy signal and momentum wave. So I would not, uh, I would not enter any trades around this level until I see a clear bearish divergence right now you could consider this a bearish divergence um right here right but still that's a little bit too uncertain in my opinion so i would wait for the next trade then we have this you know this clear bearish divergence right clear bearish divergence and what happens sell signal price dumps um and this is real time right real time uh charts i'm not going way back to show you price action from a year ago bearish divergence sell signal price comes down um, and you know, like I said, you can use this on pretty much any time frame. I use the same exact strategy uh, when I am scalping. Okay, so this is the same strategy that I use. Um, if you want to get a little bit more advanced and technical, what I would recommend is using Easy Algo's automatic support and resistance lines uh, as well as the trend ribbon. Now, what this does is look at this, right? This is absolutely beautiful. We see price comes up to this resistance level. Um, or it was a resistance level at the time. This was red at the time. It looked something like that. Uh, and we got this bearish divergence right here with a sell signal. Now that is a extremely high probability trade. When you see, okay, we have a bearish divergence, a sell signal at resistance, um, you know, price is gonna go down. Uh, so you can kind of, I mean, look at this, right? Support comes right down to the support level. We get a buy signal. We didn't get any divergences, but we have a buy signal right at support. Um, so, you know, I'm expecting price to come up a little bit. 
So that is how I use Wu Manchu Cypher B uh, to become the most profitable. I don't take their their buy and sell dots on here very seriously. Um, they're not that accurate, which is why, you know, I have my own algorithm, Easy Algo, first link in the description, like I said, if you want it for yourself. But I really just use Vu Manchu Cypher B for the divergences. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned something. Please leave a like on the video if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more trading content. And that's it for me. I'll catch you guys next video.